So here are the ingredients. I have some chicken. You can use uh, chicken breast or chicken thighs, whatever you have on hand. I have La Moderna, which is a fideo. Uh, if you don't have this brand locally, uh, I assume you would probably find it in the Hispanic food section. But uh, in our grocery store, it's in the regular pasta section. You can just get thin spaghetti and cut it up. Literally just break it in pieces and you have fideo. Then we have some olive oil, a white onion, and a calabaza or squash. I'm already starting to heat my pan. I'm going to grab my tomato sauce. Almost ran out of the Kirkland organic tomato sauce. And another important ingredient is the bouillon. Chicken flavor. I am grabbing the um, tomato and chicken flavor one. If you want to add extra, uh, an extra spice to it, you can add some cayenne pepper or some paprika. Um, cumin, which is comino in Spanish, is used in a lot of Mexican recipes. Uh, so I'll probably add some of this and some garlic powder and some cayenne pepper and salt and pepper to my chicken. So before I finish cutting my onion, I usually just eyeball it, but I would say anywhere from one to two tablespoons of uh, oil in the pan. So get I just added about half the onion. I'm going to lower this down a little bit because it's hot. And you can add some salt and pepper, but I usually don't add it till the end or just add it when I'm adding the chicken. The same, um, I'm just going to be adding the seasoning here. That my mom used to say that when her mom would make uh, chicken, Usually on the bone, she w she loved the neck. It might have also been because that's all that her brother would beat her to the table as soon as grandma, their mom would tell them the food is ready. Using these uh, super affordable veggies, it was just a way to make the meal last just a little bit longer so that everybody could get food on their plate and in their tummies. Even today, my mom's favorite part of the chicken is the neck. And a lot of the families here in my area used to grow their own food. With it being a pumpkin season and squash season, it is definitely an affordable uh, option. Get the uh, can opener so that I can open the tomato sauce. We're going to need that plus some water to uh, cover the fideo when I put it in to cook, so about two cups. So the chicken is cooked all of the way. So I'm gonna just go ahead and add the uh, calabaza and onion back into the, Let's see if I can do it with one hand. All right, let's just scrape all the extra in here. Most of the time when you cook rice, you uh, add oil, but since there is already oil, I'm not gonna have to add any. Just add that in there, that's about half a bag. Stir it and make sure that all the fideo is covered with the oil. That'll help it fry a little bit better. And then I'm just going to bring it to a boil and cover it, like I said, for about 10 minutes. Alright, so while the food finishes cooking and simmering, I thought I would take this time to go ahead and let y'all know what this collab is about. Um, Alaska Mama Vlogger created this uh, collab. I will leave her channel link below as well so you guys can check out all the other moms. But the video really brings back memories that we used to have that almost every time we went to grandma. Even if you weren't hungry, she would serve you a plate of fideo. So I think it's ready. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. Yum. Oh. Yep, it looks exactly like my grandma's. Let's see if it tastes. 
like grandma's. hot to try it and let's go ahead and try some now mm. I have to blow it because it's hot mm. that flavor so good yep pretty much almost exactly like my grandma made it I'm so excited. My grandma will be so proud of me. So thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Um